Early tomorrow morning, a facelift for a part of Tulsa synonymous with violent crime. Three buildings coming down around 61st and Peoria. Two News reporter Liz Bryant live in the neighborhood. She's showing us how the city of Tulsa is getting involved. And Karen, we are here off of 63rd in Peoria. I want to bring you here because it's really eerie back here. It's dark. You hear noises and you look around or you see people walk by. And then there's this boarded up windows, doors, furniture just sitting outside. There are rows after rows of these four plexes here on 63rd Street. Most of them vacant. Unexpectedly, I found three people still living in one building today, including Janice Gonzalez. She's lived here now 20 years and said she has heard multiple shootings from inside her living room. But if they're empty, that's the danger part. The people that's living out on the streets, you know, trying to live in them and stuff and doing drugs and stuff. And that's exactly the reason for the demolition. According to the city of Tulsa neighborhood director, he determined these a nuisance since the fourplex is set vacant long enough. People break in, live illegally here, do drugs and other crimes, including this one. Two years ago tomorrow, I covered a story where a 25 year old mother walked to the grocery store right here to get her children some milk. A robber ran out of one of these fourplexes and shot her right in this street because he thought she witnessed the crime. Live in South Tulsa, Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you. Thank you, Liz. Going in depth at 10, another high-profile crime happened inside one of these buildings. 2 News following the story of Dorothea Poland since last November. Investigators say she killed a man. His burned body recovered inside one of the apartments, which was supposed to be vacant at the time. As for Poland, her case is still going through the court system.